hello and this is Scarlet's mommy again and I'm going to read you the book called Penguins Can't Fly written by Catherine Sully and I like to read books to other children too so I hope you enjoy this book as well as Scarlet likes to enjoy this book Penguins can't fly. Once there were two little penguin chicks. Their eggs had hatched on the same day, and they knew each other. Others' names, Quentin and Billy. When they were baby chicks, they played together. They played peekaboo and called each other silly names like Tin Tin and Chilly Billy. As the young chicks grew up, their games changed. Billy liked playing hide and seek. But it was a bit rough for Quentin. Quentin liked building with ice bricks, but it was dull for Billy. They did, however, make a den together once. You see, the two little penguins were quite different. Quentin liked knowing things, like what all the little fish were called and how many different types of snow there were, and best of all, how far away the stars were. Billy loved doing things like skating down steep slopes, hurling snowballs, and doing belly flops along the ice. In fact, Billy was always getting into trouble. This was especially true at school. You see, Billy was just, just couldn't sit still. He tried to be good, but he always ended up getting into trouble. Sit still, Billy, his teacher was forever saying. How are you ever going to look after an egg? When you're older, if you can't sit, ever sit still. One particular morning, Billy fidgeted so much that the teacher scolded him again and again. At lunchtime, Quentin couldn't find Billy, so he ate his lunch alone. He was gazing at the clouds when some gulls flew past. Hello, squawked one goal. What are you looking at? I'm looking at the clouds, replied Quentin. I think we're in for a snowstorm. A snowstorm, squawked the goal. Yes, said Quentin. It's not good weather for birds. How would you know? Asked the other goal. You're not a real bird. I am a real bird, said Quentin. I have feathers and a beak. And I hatched from an egg. Oh, oh, squawked the gull. But you can't fly, can you? Before Quentin could think of a reply, the gull had swooped down and stolen his lunch. That wasn't nice, was it? That night, Quentin couldn't sleep. He went to his favorite rock, gazed up at the sky. And thought, I can't see this very good. Sorry about that. 
through a tiny gap in the clouds. He could see some stars twinkling. I'll never be able to reach you, he told the stars quietly, because I'm a bird that can't fly. Then he heard the sound of a pebble being thrown into the water. Who's there? asked Quentin. It's me, Billy, Billy replied. Oh, you couldn't sleep either? asked Quentin. I'm going away, said Billy. I'm fed up with getting into trouble. I wouldn't do that if I were you, said Quentin. I think we're in for a snowstorm. But there was no reply. Billy was gone. Now I have to do this into two parts. So this is part one.